Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Rihanna's new song called Lift Me Up. It's a beautiful little song. I'm going to teach you the whole song, including a little finger picking uh, introduction to the song. I'm going to teach you the chords all the way through. But just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, um, leave me some comments in the comment section as well, let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support my channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now the song starts with a little introduction. You could just play the chords through this, um, but I've done a little finger picking idea. Uh, so it sounds like this. So a simple little um, arrangement for the introduction. So we're going to start by playing the A string and the B string, but hammer on to B2 straight away. So it goes, and that holds for the four um, beats, the whole bar. So it goes, two, three, four, into bar two, we're going to play A2 and B3 at the same time, until beat four and, where you're going to play B2, and then into the next bar we play the open E string and B. So, so far you've got two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, and then we're gonna go G2, B, and then B2. Into the next bar, bar four, you just play the open A string. Don't play the notes in the brackets, they're just held on. So the first four bars you've got Uh, bar five, you just play the open A string with B2. Bar six is the same as bar two, so you play A2, B3, then uh, B2. Then bar seven changes slightly, so you play the E string and the B string. Then G2, G1, G2, and then play an A string in bar eight. So the whole line goes one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's a little introduction. If you wanted to, you could just play the chord. So let's go on to the next line. Um, so th this is the chorus. It starts. She starts singing on the chorus, um, but those chords would be exactly the same for the introduction. And the chords are A chord, which you're going to place your first finger on D2, second finger on G2, and third finger on B2. Um, normally you can play all the way down to the E string, which you can do, but for this. It sounds nice if you just play the middle four strings, so the A, D, G, and the B strings. So you could either strum it, or you can do f finger picking, whichever way you prefer. Or you could even use a pick. So you've got an A chord. The next chord in bar 10 is a B minor chord, which is your first finger, A2, second finger on B3, third finger D4 and your little finger underneath it on G4 and again play the middle four strings and then the next bar we've got an E chord which is your first finger G1 second finger A2 and third finger just underneath it on D2 and again just play to the B string don't play all the way down to the E just play to the B string and then in bar 12 it goes back to an A chord so the whole line of the chorus goes 
A, two, three, four. B minor, two, three, four. B, e, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. And then it repeats. So you play that line twice. So that's the chorus. Now we go on to the next line. Now this is the verse. So you play the chorus twice and then you go on to this line of the verse. And it's almost the same. There's a slight little variation. So it goes A, B minor, then E, back to A, and then we get an A6, which is your first finger. So we're on bar 17 now. First finger on D4, second finger on B5, and third finger on G6, and just play the middle four strings. And then it goes back to B minor, then E, and then A. So let's try and play the whole of the verse. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So after that verse, it then goes back to the chorus and then plays this verse again, and then a third chorus, and then the third verse is slightly different. So we go on to this next line, which is the third verse, um, and it's the same with A, B minor, E, then A, but then it goes to an F sharp minor seven chord, which is your second finger, E two, third finger across the D, G and the B strings at the second fret. If you struggle to do that, you could use um, your first finger on A, or sorry, E2, second finger D2, third finger G2, and little finger on B2. But I like to use my third finger flat and then second finger over the top. So that's the only slight change in verse three. And then it goes to B minor, E, and then A. So let's just play the verse three. Here we go, one, two, three, four. And then after verse three, it goes to a chorus, but um, so this is like the fourth chorus. The chords have changed around now. So now instead of uh, playing the A at the start, it's gonna start with F sharp minor. So it goes F sharp minor seven, to B minor, to E, to A. And it repeats that line. So this is the third chorus. You go one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Repeat. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then after that fourth chorus, there's an outro, uh, an outro, which is kind of like the chorus. Uh, so it plays A, and then B minor, E, A, F sharp minor seven, B minor. E, and then that's it, that's the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video. Um, I love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Uh, if you just wanna say hi, say hi. Uh, let me know where in the world you're from, what you thought of the video, and most importantly, uh, let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support my channel, and you wanna print the tabs off of this. Then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.